between Leon Edwards and Alan Chobin. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of it. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. He lands flush with that right hand. Try to establish that jab. He blocks the punch. Oh, big right. on the elbow. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Big kick. Oh, he's got him right here. Knee to the body. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. 25 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. Nice punch land. Very nice leg kick there by Edwards. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Look at him. like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to change that finish down now. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And he caught the kick. Oh, he catches the leg there, and then works it into a takedown. I'd rather mix martial arts there. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Joe Band's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. He loaded up there on that high kick. Pretty good right hand. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, how about it, huge kick landed. Both guys landing big shots. Final seconds of round one. Look at him chop 
of the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Five minutes in the box. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. fighting do the talking tonight. Let this fight do the talking, and he's all business. He, he's a businessman. He's here to win, go back to England, and do his thing with his family. He's not going to be on TV hooping and hollering. He's a guy that's here to do his job and then go back home until he gets his title. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace an uptick in the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice kick. Well, a lot of these shots with power behind them. 66 total strikes. Oh, 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 oh. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. While well, the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Edwards. And he landed the right hand there. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Huge he lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Whoa! Two's hurt. Serve him up. Look at him. His opponent's screaming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man. Almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Gets up again here, but hurting. Uh, 
Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds to go. Choban's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Strike there, interrupted by Choban. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight clinch. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Choban's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for carry back. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, and he caught the kick. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, nice connection there. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. You got him! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly, so... Near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of the third round. And playing the winner by knockout, Leon Rocky.